When I was a little bit younger, I just remember asking God, like, I, I just, I always want to believe what I sing. Where you're so in love with God and you so are grounded in who He is that no matter what happens to you, you can still say, it's well with my soul just because of who He is. The song came out of a couple different moments. Me and my husband were looking for a house and it was just this long process, <laughs> long drawn out process. And I just remember being like, oh God, I'll never get a house, <laughs> we'll never get a house. We tend to be really short-sighted sometimes and the problem that's right in front of us tends to be the biggest thing in the world. And, and he was just very kind in kind of saying, hey, I've done some bigger things than this before. Like this really isn't that big of a problem. And so I sat down and I, I wrote the, the first verse, a grander earth is quaked before. From that place of just experiencing that awakening kind of of my heart, I started to sing differently because when I would sing about God being faithful, I realized that, oh, I know that He's faithful now. To encounter the faithfulness of God is not always a comfortable thing because you have to be in a place where you actually need to, somebody to be faithful to you, and that's usually uncomfortable. But God actually created us not to live apart from Him and apart from everything that He is. I realized that I just needed to, and I needed to not despise my need of God. The chorus, of the song, let go my soul and trust in him. The waves and winds still know his name. And we've heard the story about how Jesus was on the boat and you know he woke up and he's like, why are you so afraid? And then he calms the storm. I think anything in life is kind of like that wind and that waves that one day, anything they will ever face. And I bet you everything knows his name. I bet you that everything we'll ever face has already tasted some level of defeat or the entirety of defeat because of what he did. And so there's really nothing to be afraid of. The addition of the hymn was actually my husband's idea. Everybody at some point in their life can really connect with that hymn. And then when I got to the recording of You Make Me Brave, I just suggested it to the producer. He's like, yeah, let's do it, but let's not tell the band. It just became this amazing, spontaneous moment at the recording, actually. My prayers for the song and what I've seen it do already is just to comfort people in really, really deep and hard times. The disappointments and the, the disillusionment, you know, and, and gets us to shake off self-pity for the rest of our lives. He really encountered me when I needed him the most. And I needed rescue, I needed salvation, I needed faithfulness, and he came through for me. So now my faith is faith and it's not just hope. We can hope that God's real our whole lives. You know, but why not know that he's real?